But really quick, I'm gonna start off by playing one of your guys' songs. Uh, let's go ahead and do the one with Ricky. Can you really quick tell us how you linked up with Ricky, though? Yeah, so I met Dan Horahan back in 20, no, uh, what was it 2019? Like the very end of it. And he was the director for Ice Nine Kills for all of the Silver Scream uh, videos that they did. And him and I had been just like talking and working on getting together to work on a video. And after we filmed our first video, nothing you could say, he was actually down at Ricky's house and was just asking him for like notes on it. And Ricky had just thrown it out there that he was like asking who was like mixing it and mastering it and stuff. And um, he was just like, you think the guys would be OK if like I took a crack at it? And then obviously I was like, uh, yeah, like, please. <laughs> so uh, pretty much from there, he. Um, mastered our first two songs don't let the door hit you on the way out and nothing you can say and then from there we recorded the the back half of our ep with him um and it's been fantastic working with him because not only was our you know like the quality of it was so good but we learned a lot um from working with him so it just helped our writing overall and you can hear it in our songs they've, just, they've gotten better with each one that we've put out what's something in particular you would say that you did learn from him while working with him like was it like was it like a like trick uh, tricks in the for studio me, for recording or was it like vocal techniques and and guitar like what kind of things did he teach you guys? Uh, I mean there there was stuff like all over the place that we picked up as far as like writing and stuff goes. But for me personally, there was definitely different uh, vocal techniques that he helped me out with, uh, specifically in Damaged Art. Um, that's the first song that I've done cleans on. Um, I mean, I, I have all my covers and stuff that I try to do, like <laughs> singing and stuff like that. But you, you can hear it clearly here um, more than anything. And then um, with writing lyrics and stuff, the way he goes about it was definitely different than the way I do it personally. So I've kind of like blended the two together and it's just made it so much better. Let's jam it right now. Damaged Art featuring Ricky of Ice Nine Kills and Hawk. Yo, who built this set for this music video? This This seems like... A lot of work. Seems like a lot of work. Yeah, uh, Dan had put it together. He had been, he he had been like collecting the TVs for years and had been trying to, like, showcase a video reel of all of the things that he had been working on. And since then, he I mean, he's made that that wall even bigger. And so it's like, so it's like a, it's like a set that probably, he's like, just gonna keep years of work into that. So, so it's like a set that he's just going to keep, uh, like, expanding on for multiple projects and stuff. I don't necessarily know that he's going to use it for anything. I know that he's trying to sell off some of those TVs. So if anyone's looking for one of those <laughs> classic TVs, oh, let us know. We'll get you <laughs> get you one. Um, but, yeah, I'm not sure what, uh, what his plans are going forward with that because they had to clear out room in the church uh, for that, too, because it took up a lot of room. <laughs> Can you can you plug the brand new track Burn and why this one's important to you? What? <laughs> uh yeah, so we just put out uh, hey, uh their new I'm song new here. Burn. We just dropped hey. it yesterday. Hi. And this is the last song that's gonna be on the EP. Um and this song for me was important because it was like a lot of fun to put together but it's also like a lot of the stuff that i write about has to deal with like my mental health and trying to put like a positive spin on it and everything and this was just one of those songs that was like the the deep dive into nihilism and just letting me be angry and pessimistic about everything <laughs> i got a good question it's also How the most fun the... to play live so i'm just so stoked on this one. Oh yeah uh how much were the tickets <clears throat> To the gun show that you brought here, baby. Oh, let's go. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, who who made you wanna pick up a, a microphone and and just experiment with your voice and to the point of where you realized that you could be a vocalist? Like who who did you look up to when you were younger? I look at I used to I ask it as like 
A lot of people, I, I feel like, practice in the car, and that's when they kind of feel like, oh, I could do this. And then, it, you know, who did you who did you practice? So I've been singing in the car or in the shower, you know, whatever, for years and years. And um, I've wanted to be, I've tried to be, like, a, you know, a musician for since I was 16, I just turned 30 back in November. Uh, I started off playing drums, just started off, and then switched to bass. And then after just like failing and just being terrible at it, I was just like, you know what? I, I really enjoy singing. I enjoyed screaming, whether I was good or not. I just decided to sell all my old gear and then I bought myself a studio, like um, just like recording equipment and stuff. And I just started doing like covers. Um, I, I when I started trying to scream, Ryan Kirby was somebody that like I looked up to a lot. Um, and then just like over the years, there's been other people that I've looked up to as far like um, Wage War, like Moss to Flames, uh, Caleb from Beartooth, uh, all those, those guys like I admire and I've kind of tried to take their styles and make my own um, with their influence to it. Cool. Are you down to uh, review some bands with us and or do some trivia? And or do some trivia. Absolutely, dude. Okay, so yeah, I'm sorry. It's like the the delay is kind of screwing me up a little we, bit. We, we, no, we're making it work. We're making it work. No worries. We we've had worse problems. We've had worse problems than this. <laughs> oh oh. Shirt going out to embers. Embers, hit me up on either Instagram or Facebook at Local Band Smokeout. Message me. I need all your info. You just won a t-shirt. Hell yeah. Let's go. Give me a hell yeah. Okay, let's do... Uh, let's well, do... I wanted the t-shirt. Sorry, dude. Bullshit. At Frequent Misconceptions. Mic check, mic check, 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 check. Can you hear us? Mic check one two. Nah, it's still it's still delayed. Oh, he's muted now. Oh, the look of worry. Oh my god, what did I do? What do I do? What do I fix? <laughs> now oh. we now we can't hear you. Come to yeah, light. I tried to uh, plug my headphones in to try to make it stop coming through, but it's hard to fix it live. So I, I we totally get it. It's no big deal. Uh, dude, Nick, when when you guys, if, if you guys were had like a little mini run, let's say you had like a like a five city mini tour, what would what would you guys be binge watch binge watching in the van? Is there a particular show that everyone in the band always watches, like a Breaking Bad or something along the lines of that? It would depend on who was in control, because like uh, if Casey was the one picking, we'd be watching anime nonstop. <laughs> but I don't think he would get the. Uh the approval on that one. So. <laughs> See, I'm not super big on anime, um, but there's a couple. I don't know. Uh, we all like the fantasy genre too. So like uh, Game of Thrones probably would be a good one. Excellent. Uh, Nick, really quick. Um, are you on the PC right now? Am I on the PT right now? Are you Are you on Zoom on your PC right now? Microsoft Teams, not Zoom. Oh, Microsoft, whatever. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm on. Uh, yeah, I'm on Microsoft Teams. If you uh, look at the top, there's uh three little dots up there on that little bar that if you like looked up from the screen, if you click on that and check devices, it'll tell you what your uh, sound is coming through. You may have it set to something else. So you would go to uh, speaker and set it to whatever you were trying to use if you were trying to plug in headphones or something. Just a really quick idea. I don't know. I didn't want to. Sorry, continue. Could fix it. <clears throat> this one goes yeah, out it's to the only option that it says this is closed. This one goes out to Riffy. Ooh. Nick, you gotta tell us what you're afraid of. Was yeah, there, what are you scared of? Is man? there anything that, that you're that you're scared of? Alright, so I um I'm petrified of rodents. I grew up in a house that was uh, infested with mice and rats. So like I uh, would be like trying to sleep and they'd be like running across my bed and shit and like always in our like food and stuff. So I'm absolutely terrified. Well, if I had a gerbil, you wouldn't like them? <laughs> you wouldn't like Jerry the gerbil? Absolutely not. Damn. <laughs> he said, <"F> Jerry. <laughs> All right. Solar. 
with Come to you really Light. What do you think I'm going to say I like about her singing style? What is she doing? Or what did you what did you hear that she did that you think I'm impressed about? Uh, the, like the her bendy. vibrato yeah, blah, 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 was blah, 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 blah. fire. That's called vibrato. <laughs> the little and wah- that shit was fire. She got that shit down. The auto wah-wah pedal. You do know me, bro. Happy. I do know you. Nick, we are gonna test <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we are gonna test your Game of Thrones trivia. Since you said Oh, I'm in this one. I'm fucking answering. All right. Hey, this is a tough one. This is a tough one, boys. Here we go. While Lyanna Stark is laying dying before the eyes of her brother, she whispered something to him before she passed in oblivion. What did she whisper in his ear? Before she passed in oblivion. What did she whisper in his ear? Uh, verbatim, I don't remember, but she was telling him to keep Jon Snow safe uh, because Robert Baratheon was going to kill him if she knew that he was, um, uh, what's his face, the Targaryen son. You're close. You're missing, like, one key word. Can you ask the question one more time? You're missing, like, one key word. Lyanna Stark is dying in front of her brother, and she whispers something to him before she dies. And he got about 80% of it correct, but he's missing, like, a key word. I, I had no idea the answer. I had no idea the answer on that one. Yeah, we don't know either. Uh, I think I accidentally muted him. I didn't mean to do that. I don't okay. want to mute him. Got it. What'd you do that for? Oh. Nick, yeah. unmute yourself. I didn't mean to. I Because it, it was replaying your message and I couldn't hear the question. I was trying to do it for a second. I can't unmute him. He has That's to do what? it. Two, one, clap. I want all of us to clap at the same time. Three, two, one, clap. That was close enough. <laughs> Missed it. Don't worry, Drex. No way! No way! Let's go! You get a shirt, and you get a shirt. I'm gonna be broke. You get a shirt. Drex also wins. Nick, you're muted now. You muted yourself this time. Drex nope, also. No sound. Nope, something you did. You you messed with something. There Hello? you go. There he's good. He's good. S- super dope. Hell yeah. yeah. Are you a gamer, Nick? No. Are you a gamer, Nick? That was my favorite one. There's Absolutely. St- what game can I beat you in right now? We about to play right now. What would it be? What do you think you're going to beat me in? I'm terrible at everything. <laughs> oh, so he's I an adventure think, gamer, bro. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm playing now. Um, I, I've been playing uh, Lost Ark just came out the other day. I've been playing that. And um, what's it? Rainbow Six Extraction. So that PVE, I'm all about that because PVP, I don't got it anymore. <laughs> What about Elden Ring? Are you waiting for that? Is oh, that on course. Let's yeah. go. Absolutely. I've heard a lot play, about uh, Elden Ring. Sounds like it's gonna be pretty and I dope. Whooping that too. But <laughs> I'm a Call of Duty mobile guy. Uh, yeah, BG will whoop you in mobile, and I'll beat you on PC. You just let us know when you need an ass whooping, bro. We here. Yeah. We deliver those. Oh, you'll, des- you'll destroy me in Warzone. It's not even. It's not even worth me playing. Bay Street. Up next. Go bigger for good pop punk. That's a yay for me on that one. Definitely. Rattle Sky. <clears throat> That's my name. Don't worry it out. That's not that one wasn't for you. You weren't feeling that one. Call me baby. What? Um. I mean, I think it was very good, and I really fucked with it. It didn't stand out to me in that particular genre. Like they sounded like what I expected them to sound. Fair enough. Two thumbs up. Nick, is there is there an artist that that you guys uh, anticipate maybe doing a feature with someday? Like maybe somebody jumps on like like another Ricky, but just a different artist. And maybe a second yeah. par- second second part to the question: Would you guys ever incorporate an artist that isn't in the rock world? Like maybe like a hip hop section on a track, or like an EDM section, or something just different. Uh so so far we've worked with Ryan from Fit for King. We got Ricky on there. Personally, I would love to work with Chris from like Most of Flames because he's one of my biggest influences or uh, Jamie from Polaris. Um, as far as working with somebody outside of our genre, uh, we're actually actively working on a project to try to make that happen. Uh, so that's what I'll say about that. So th- this is something that has nothing to do with, uh, with Hidden Figures. It's a completely separate side project. No, <laughs> no, it'll be a Hidden Figures thing that we... Uh, that we make if we can make this happen that'll be it'll be that cool yo what leaks do you have for us 
What's what's, that? Some th- what's some leaks that you got for us? What's some juicy you sitting on that you can give us a little something, some bro? Come uh, on. Come on. Let's see. Yeah, that that's about it. That's what I just what I just said right now is about. That's all, that's all we can know right now. That's all we can know right now. Yeah, we were do, we were donated by you, Burn. So we're gonna we're gonna spin it. Hell yeah! Two extra entries in the giveaway. Uh, Nick, let's jump to your Spotify. You get to pick any song from your from your catalog, and but you have to explain why you want us to hear this particular song. Um, let's see. Out of our catalog, or just something that I want to hear? Uh, actually, whatever you want us to hear. Good question. What's your favorite local band, Nick? Oh man. Probably Census. They, uh, I think they're from like Arkansas or something like that. Um, they, they have like a re- like very poppy like feel. And I cover them a bunch. I, I'm like super in love with. Yo, how did you know to do. spell it like that and not like Senses like or Sense? Like, how did you already know, B? Because I played it before. Oh, see, see the I would love up. to play a show with these guys. These guys are absolutely gold. You're already in the Kill it. Census. Let's check it out. I vocalists do un- unclean vocals also, or does he just kind of keep it as cleans? For the, I mean, he can. Um, they have a song that they just put out recently with uh, Rory from um, Dayseeker, and he he does like a little bit in there, but he's definitely more towards the clean. I mean, he has a crazy good voice. Um, it's funny you picked that song because that song is usually one of my go-to's for like warming up for me when I'm trying to do my cleans. Uh, I, I love those guys. Hell yeah. Uh, uh, my warm-ups consist of hit him. And Tyler Carter. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Hit him's like an ongoing joke around here. Uh, it's villain, not a joke. Nobody's villain, laughing. It's not a joke. Villain Fox, to you listen, with tourniquet. Me and a lot of the chat love Hit him. And you think we're joking. We are Hit him enthusiasts. And you're you're making fun of us, man. It's not cool. Hit him. Villain to you, tourniquet. Nick, is it is anybody or everybody in the band 420 friendly? Weed every day. Hitting the Chiba. What was that question? Is anybody in the band hitting blunts? Gobbling up the edibles. Uh <laughs> we're, we're gonna skip over going, that question man. for now. <laughs> I, I could have named like nine more ways, but no, it's okay. Just curious. It is it is a semi weed based show, so we gotta ask at least. But um uh, nah, weeds for burnouts and losers, man. Whatever. If you, if money wasn't an option, what would be your dream car, and where would you live in the world? Okay. Uh, I probably would live in New Zealand. Well, he chose a destination first. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> as far as like a dream car, I mean, I don't really care too much mm. about cars. So like if I had the money to buy a dream car, I'd probably put that money towards something else uh, if I was given the option to. But if I had to pick a car, uh, I'd probably go with um, the Shelby Mustang from Gone in 60 Seconds because that thing is pretty El- sweet. Eleanor. What's your favorite Lord Eleanor, of the Rings right? movie? <sighs> If I you don't like New a, Zealand, you yeah, gotta that, like. I mean, the that's drinks. that's the reason that I want to go there because I just want to, you know, walk. Big more great the, place, yeah. chap. Boom. <laughs> What's your favorite one? What you like? What's Lord of the Rings? I I love them all so much. It's hard to pick. Is yeah, like, pick one. <sighs> I'll throw in BG's Desert Island question. I'm throwing you on an island with a TV, a DVD player, and you can only pick one Lord of the Rings or Hobbit movie to take with you. This uh, island is run by rodents that King. produce electricity, so that's the that's the con yeah. to the island. <laughs> <laughs> Return of the King. Return of the King. That is a good one. I cried in that one when I first saw it. Well, the whole thing is just perfect, except for Frodo, because he's a bitch, but I'm going to talk Damn! about it. <laughs> Come on, Frodo. Come on, Frodo. Dope sick. What's up next? A little tough. It's way too like bright heavy. On like the crashes. What is this? And... The reincarnation of Moby. Remember Moby? <laughs> Moby? <laughs> That's not bad. That's an old school artist right there. 
Shout out to Moby. Moby was the first like techno album I ever owned. Was he techno though? Really? Yeah, that was kind of like. Bro, you weren't talking to nobody just now. Don't pull that whole. No, it's snowing. It's snowing outside my outside the house right now where I'm at. In uh, California, it's snowing. What the fuck? I know it's it's raining and it's snowing. There was hail earlier, and apparently there's mandatory bluffs going out right now. <laughs> A mandatory blow was redeemed. Crash Army is next with Edward Scissorhands. Crash Army. Edward Scissorhands. Nick, I think we got time to do one more. I'm gonna I'm gonna end with Borderline. Um, but what was it like to actually work with Ryan, man? I know you said earlier that uh, you respected him uh, back in the day. What was it like actually working with him, though? Uh, so Ryan is actually a, a good friend of mine. Uh, I had met him um, like years and years ago before Fit for King like blew up into what they were. And he had actually told me that he would do a song with me had I ever gotten to a point that we I had a song to record that I felt would be good enough. And, uh, you know, years later, even after all the success that they found, he held true to that promise. So it was it was awesome. I mean, it's still like, you know, somebody that I look up to like that to be able to go back and hear a song that not only do we sing together, but he sing, you know, words that I wrote and something that's so meaningful to me. And it's just completely surreal to me. And especially cause like we, there was a, an original version of borderline, um, that he was going to do, but then we pumped the brakes on it and it took about another like three or four months to turn borderline into what it is now. Um, and I'm so glad that we waited cause it's just so much better. Um, but yeah, just being able to see that still and like go back and listen to that and hear, the back and forth that we do. And I've had people come to me and be like, I couldn't even tell who was who, which is just like, wow. this was somebody that I looked up to. And now people are telling me that I sound like him. It's just like wow. crazy to me. That is awesome. <laughs> Guys, if you're enjoying what your ears are hearing, please hit the follow button for hidden figures. They're absolutely awesome. They're totally worthy of that follow button. Please support them. The My favorite of, of all of them, but it's, it's tough. Cause I like them all. So it's, it's, it's they're all like, right right there man nick this oh, is I fun that, i want to i want to give you oh, one yeah. more one more shot at uh at some game of thrones trivia though one more try what did joffrey who's the crown prince of the seven kingdoms name his first sword what, is it? Oh. what did he name his I'm sword knock shit over Damn, wow, I'm terrible. Uh, I gotta walk this is kind of a hard one. Uh, I'm going to kick myself as soon as you say it, too. What the hell? Uh, da, da, da. I can't think of it. I'm drawing a blank. Ugh. Chat has not terrible. gotten it yet, so you guys can still get... I'll stall for a little bit longer while you get a second. It's telling me it's called Lion's Tooth. That's even wrong too. Google is that not right? We knew it receives a new Valerian steel sword, widow's whale from his grandfather Tyrion on the day of his wedding, replacing Heart Eater. So Lion's Man, Tooth was second. Lies. Lion's Tooth was second. There's no Lion's Tooth. It was his sword was called Heart Eater, and then his grandfather gave him a sword called Widow's Whale. Hold on a second. Hmm. Hmm. So I see Heart Eater and Widow's Whale. Yeah, Jeffrey look, no, look, it says it says he receives a replacement sword, Heart Eater. He recalls how Arya had thrown Lion's Tooth in the river. Lion's Tooth was, was the name of his first sword. Gotcha! Oh, I didn't hear the first sword. That is officially a stump. That is fair, because she did toss that shit and say, fuck you, bro. It's officially... I didn't hear the first sword shit. It's officially Motherfucker's a Motherfucker's a king. He got hella swords. <laughs> have you ever seen the movie Hidden Figures? I have. I'm a big movie <laughs> what, were, what were your thoughts on it? What were your thoughts on it? It's a great movie. I thought it was really pretty good damn movie. good. Did you watch it because it's your band name? 
No, we the band became a thing after the movie was <laughs> for sure. Well, Nick, we appreciate you spending some time with us today, dude. Um, can you let us know Absolutely. what we can expect from the band the the rest of twenty twenty two? Uh, so we're going out and we're playing like a ton, a ton. Uh, so we have three shows lined up in the next coming weeks. Um, April 1st, we're going to be doing a release party. So if you're in the New England area and you want to come see us live, we'll be playing in Rhode Island um, and a couple different places in Massachusetts. Uh, New Bedford and Worcester, where we're from, is where the uh, the EP release show is going to be. Oh, uh, we do drive, have... No problem. Yeah. <laughs> We got a, a tour planned um, in May. Uh, we don't have the details yet on that, but we're working with our manager uh, to get that going. Uh, so when more details are coming out, we'll post that as much as we can all over social. So if you're in those areas, come check us out. You know, thank can you so you much for having me. Albany, New York, please. Oh, that'll be, we'll be up in that area. Um, I think that'll be like the last stop, if if I remember correctly. Um, either it's like Albany or Poughkeepsie or somewhere in that area. Who so keeps I'll yeah? I'll go to, the, I'll go to that. One. Uh, we also know yeah. that sooner or later we may get the details on a feature that's not from a rock or metal artist that could could or could not possibly be on a hidden figure song Cooter. in the future. <laughs> Maybe we'll see. It's we'll a see. long shot, but we're working on it. Hell yeah! Well, we hope it happens. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick of Hidden Figures, thank you, sir, so much. We appreciate you doing this. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day and much success in 2022, sir. Thank you so much, guys. All right, have a great day. Give me a hell yeah! Hell yeah!